we are going to solve the following double integral that um, one of my uh, students asked me. And uh, in this case, what we are going to do, uh, according to the techniques that we've been learning in um, Calculus 2, we are going to start with the inner integral, okay? So I have integral of a pi over 2 to 0, y plus y squared cosine of x dx dy is a double integral, two variables. That means uh, we're going to solve first with respect to x, then we're going to do it respect to y. So in this case, we're going to treat the variables as constants. For example, having an integral of y dx, okay, plus integral of y squared cosine of x dx. These two y's are going to be my variables, uh, my constants. So we're going to have y integral of dx plus y squared integral of cosine of x dx. And then we solve from there, we're going to have x y and then y squared sine of x. And then we evaluate from zero to pi over two. So that, those are the steps that we are going to take to solve this double integral. Okay, so let's start in this case, I'm going to have integral from negative three to three. Okay, I'm going to open a bracket. So as I mentioned here before, I'm going to have um, x, y, because I'm going to do integral of y dx equals to x, y plus y squared integral of cosine of x dx is equals to sine of x I'm going to close bracket and we're going to evaluate from uh, x equals to zero to x equals to pi over two dy because then uh, my uh, outside integral is going to be respect to y. Let's evaluate this integration limited limits according to the calculus uh, fundamental theorem. Uh, we're going to do upper limit minus lower limit. So we're going to have integral of negative three to three open parenthesis, so I have pi over 2 y plus y squared sine of pi over 2, okay? And uh, look what happened uh, to the lower uh, limit. Um, 0 times y is 0 minus 0 plus um, y squared sine of 0 is 0, so all this one is equals to zero. That reason why I'm not going to write it here to save some space. So I'm going to close my bracket, dy. Okay, now we're going to sine of pi over two is one. So I will have integral from negative three to three, and then I have pi over two y plus y squared, and then dy, okay? So let's integrate now. My integral is respect to y, dy. So I'm going to have integral from negative three to three, pi over two y, plus integral from negative three to three, y squared dy. Don't forget the differentiation, dy. Okay, so I'm going to have here pi over four, y squared, okay? plus one third, y to the third power, and all this is going to be evaluated from uh, negative three to three, okay? So applying again the fundamental theorem of calculus, we're going to have pi over four, three to the second power, plus one third, three to the third power, that's the upper limit, minus, Okay, then I'm going to open parentheses, pi over four, three, negative three, because it's the lowest limit to the second power, plus one third, negative three to the third power. Okay, let's simplify a little bit. So I have here three to three, uh, t three times three is equals nine. So nine uh, pi over four plus, 3 to the third power is 27 divided by 3 is equals to 9 minus, I'm going to open parentheses and simplify what is inside the parentheses. 
So I have exactly the same as this expression, but we have some negative 3. So negative 3 to the second power is 9. So I have 9 pi over 4. And then I have negative 3 to the third power is negative 27 times positive is negative. Negative 27 over 3 is equals to negative 9. Close parenthesis. This negative is going to make negative this expression and positive my 9. And as we can see, I have 9 pi over 4, negative 9 pi over 4. These two cancel out. So what I end up with is positive 9, negative and negative is positive, 9 plus 9 equals to 18. And that will be my solution for this double integral evaluated um, from negative 3 to 3 in y and from 0 to pi over 2 in x. Any question that you have, please leave it in the um, uh, down, down um, the comments.